Tomiko from Graco. I'm going to show you how to install the Trio Girl Snug Lock 3-in-1 car seat with anti-rebound bar rear-facing using the vehicle seat belt. Before we can install, we need to attach the anti-rebound bar. This has to be used in rear-facing mode. To attach, just insert the tubes into the holes at the front of the seat and push in. You should hear a click. Make sure you pull on it to make sure that it's securely attached. Next, we're going to make sure that our tether is stored and our UIS connectors are in the forward-facing belt path. We put them in the forward-facing belt path so that they don't interfere with the vehicle seat belt in the rear-facing path. Make sure that your car seat is in one of the three rear-facing recline positions. Also, make sure your car is on level ground and your car seat base is flat on the vehicle seat, making sure at least 80% of the base is on the vehicle seat. Check your level indicator to make sure that the ball is in the correct zone for your child's age. Next, we're going to expose the rear-facing belt path. To do this, we're going to move the seat cover out of the way. And do the snaps at the top and the bottom. Make sure you pull your buckle through. Next, open your snug lock lock off by pulling on the lever. Next, we're going to route the vehicle seat belt. When you route your vehicle seat belt through the rear facing belt path, you want to notice where your buckle is. If your buckle is in the innermost spot, you can route your belt in front of it. If your buckle is in the outer slot, you want to route your vehicle seat belt behind it. While I'm doing this, I'm making sure that the seat belt is flat and not twisted. Now you can buckle your seat belt. Next, remove slack by pressing down in the center of the seat and pulling the seat belt. Then press down on the snug lock lock off. You should hear a click. To test for tightness, grab at the rear facing belt path and move the seat side to side and front to back. It shouldn't move more than one inch. If it does, open the lock off, remove more slack, and then close the lock off again. And then test for tightness again. Now you can check your level indicator to make sure that it's still in the correct range for your child's age. Next, you can replace your seat cover. Make sure the buckle lines up with the same slot in the seat cover as it is in the car seat. Make sure you put your harness straps back to the front of the seat. Now you're ready for baby. Now that your seat is installed, you're ready to buckle your child in. You wanna check for proper harness height. When in rear facing mode, the harness straps should be at or just below your child's shoulders. Then connect the buckle and connect the chest clip. Tighten the harness using the strap at the front of the seat. After tightening, move the chest clip up to armpit level. Last, do the pinch test. You should not be able to pinch any extra slack at your child's shoulders. 